We do know that there are dietary patterns that reduce your risk of getting heart disease and reduce your risk of getting cancer. Of course, there's that simple relationship between if you don't get enough vitamin C, for example, you might get scurvy. But in modern society, not enough food is usually not our problem. It's often too much food or the wrong type of food that's more the issue that we need to address. We know that there is a link between poor dietary patterns and heart disease. So diets that are low in fiber, that are very high in saturated fat, that are high in processed foods. So from the sugary baked food type perspective, but also from things like bacon and salamis and those kinds of processed meats. Those foods tend not to be very good for your cancer risk either. There are certainly some cancers where there's a stronger dietary link. So for example, breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer. Some of the new evidence is starting to emerge as well about the link between the quality of our diet and our mental health. There's different types of diabetes, of course. So there is type one diabetes, which is an autoimmune problem. So that means basically your body decides to kill off the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. So that the dietary advice for that is very specific and, and quite different. But type two diabetes is something we find in, it's much more common in the community. It is linked with people who have a higher body weight. To reduce your risk of getting diabetes, it is helpful to control your body weight and to do plenty of physical activity. Those two things can help. I think what we've got to think about is does the diet provide you with all of the vitamins and minerals that you require, all the major nutrients, so does it give you enough protein, does it give you enough carbohydrate, does it give you enough fat, we do need some fat in our diet, does it give us all of the phytonutrients, all the extra little bits and pieces that we now know that are in food that can have an influence on our health.